Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna do a good old fashioned haul. I have quite a bit of new makeup that I've purchased over the last four to five weeks and I wanna share it. Do you guys like haul videos? I don't, I feel like I don't do them a lot on my channel, but do you like them? Let me know in the comments down below if you like to see more hauls or if you just don't care for them. Now what I have is mostly from Sephora. I do have a mixture of products from the Inglot store from uh, my recent trip to Vegas. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, and I'm also gonna give little mini reviews over the products that I've tried. Some of these you've actually seen me talk about in recent videos, so you'll kind of know already my opinion of them. But for the most part, I've tried everything, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. The first product is the Merit Complexion Stick. I actually did a review on this that was up maybe a week or so ago that I'll link in the description box below. Um, I picked this up from Sephora and I've really been enjoying it. I actually have it on today. It's a very good kind of medium coverage foundation slash concealer. I am wearing it as concealer today too. So I like the portability of it and I like how quick and easy it is to apply. It has pretty great, you know, wearability. Um, it wore on me as well as I could have hoped or expected it to wear. I think it's probably great for all skin types, maybe not really dry skin. You might want something a little bit more radiant or hydrating, but overall I like this product. Okay, next I have the Dior uh, Backstage Face and Body Primer. Now I um, have been using, I've used this a few times and I really, really like it. This was actually in my favorites video for August. It is a primer that blurs and smooths out texture in the skin. It also hydrates and plumps the skin. And I do feel like that is true. You know, I feel like sometimes you see all these claims on products and whether it actually delivers, you know, is another question. But this one I do feel blurs and plumps the skin. I also picked up the Dior Face and Body Glow. It's a liquid luminizer and I like this. I've been kind of on the fence with it. You know, I'm not a huge liquid luminizer person. I don't, it's not a product that I wear daily or regularly. Um, but of liquid luminizers, this is more of a lighter weight one. It actually has a very thin consistency. You can see it has quite a bit of a glow to it. I've played with this. I've worn this um, underneath foundation. I've mixed it with foundation. And then today I actually applied it on my hand and I took my little BK Beauty 108 brush and I kind of dabbed it and worked it into the product. And then I just highlighted my nose and then kind of right here on my orbital bone, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. Um, and I think that's my favorite way way to wear it. Once it dries, it sets, so it's not a real creamy or emollient based liquid illuminizer. It actually does dry down, which is really nice. Okay, let's talk about a few Inglot products that I picked up when I was in Vegas. So I stopped by the Inglot store, and Inglot to me reminds me of like early MAC days. You know, it's a to me, it's a very similar brand. It's an artistry focused kind of driven brand. It's definitely more of, I don't know if you guys have heard of Inglot. It's definitely not as known as like MAC is, but I find that the quality of their shadows is very similar. So I made this customized little palette here and I really like this palette. It's magnetic, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, and I just put in these eight shadows. For the most part, I got all matte shades. I did get this one uh, right here, this one um, kind of shimmery shade over here. And I've been enjoying the quality of this. You can see that I've used this one as eyeliner, which leads me into the next product that I picked up, which is the Inglot Duraline. So the Duraline is one of their most known products, I believe, because it's a very unique and innovative product. This is what it looks like. It's basically a clear liquid. It's a a little thicker than like water. It almost feels like a little bit of a serum. Now you can wet your brush and then dig into powder shadows and it'll turn it almost to like a liquid liner. So it's a great way to create a winged liner with eyeshadow. Um, and I'm still, that's the only way I've played with this. I think you can also, you know, add it to like loose powdery shimmer, like loose actually we'll do that with the next one. I'll show you guys how that works, but this is, um, you can use it with like a loose shimmery pigment shadow <laughs> and it, it turns it into a liquid. So it intensifies that and just keeps it on all day. So I picked this up. So let's go ahead and try that actually. This is another product I picked up. It's from Makeup Forever and it is their uh, Star Lit Powder and this is the shade 13. Um, it is just a highly shimmery loose pigment shadow. So let's see. So this is what it looks like dry. I'll just kind of rub it in with my finger there. Now you don't have to use a Duraline product. You can certainly use water, but let's go ahead and take a brush and put some of this Duraline on it. I'm gonna actually put it on my hand and then I'm gonna take the brush and pick it up that way. Okay, and then let's go into this and let's see how it applies. Wow, okay, quite a difference. So look at the difference there. Much more just like 
intense. See the difference? Much more intense. So this is a neat product. I'm excited to play with this. It's kind of like that real fun, you know, artistry focused product that kind of makes doing your makeup a little bit more fun and creative. I also picked up, this is definitely probably one of my favorite new purchases. It's the Danessa Myricks Cream Bronzer and I got the shade Light. Now I've been talking about this product a lot lately so I won't spend too much time on it, but basically a cream bronzer and it has more of a kind of matte finish. The color is beautiful. I have it on today. It's so easy to apply. It's like foolproof cream bronzer. I also restocked on my favorite Charlotte Tilbury color chameleon eye crayon in the shade Amber Haze. I have it on my lower lash line today. This is such a beautiful, like kind of olivey, bronzy shade. I use this as eyeliner. It's a, it's like one of my favorite products to use on my lower lash line and also to use on my days that I don't want to put a lot of eyeshadow on. I just want to maybe do liner and mascara. When we, over the summer, this was kind of what I wore on my eyes all the time. Um, I did pick up a few new eyeliners and I actually picked up three different inner rim brightening pencils. I don't know. I've been on this hunt for like the best inner rim brightener. I picked up one from Patrick Ta. This is the shade um, Cream. This is what it looks like. This is the first one that we will put down right there. So it's a little bit darker. You know, it's obviously it's a nude color, but it's a little bit darker, not as bright as some others, which is nice because it's gonna look a little more natural. I picked up this shade from Sephora. It's Coconut. Okay, so this is a little bit more peachy than the Patrick Ta, you can see. And it's also slightly brighter, but it's a little more peachy and pink than the Patrick Ta. And then I picked up an Inglot one. And the Inglot one is shade 05 Coal Pencil. Let's look at this. And this is definitely the brightest of the three, quite a bit different. I actually have this on today. So much more bright. It looks white on camera, but it's not white. It's definitely a creamy shade. So I have it on today. I just love lining my waterline with a brightening pencil. It completely, I think it's the best little trick you can do to brighten and open your eyes. I also picked up this pencil and I don't actually, I've had this for a little while, but um, I wanted to share it anyway. It's the Patrick Ta Precision Gel Liner in the shade Deep Bronze. Um, I really like his eye pencils because they're mechanical. I love a mechanical pencil. I really despise pencils that I have to sharpen because what ends up happening, even though you get more product in it. What ends up happening is you never get to sharpen it all the way down here. When you get to about here, it kind of dries out. And I noticed that the uh, actual product kind of dries up and then slides out. So it's just a mess. Uh, so I prefer a mechanical pencil. Um, this is the shade Deep Bronze. Now what I find about his pencils is I was hoping they were a little creamier. They kind of dry quickly. They go on real creamy and smooth, but then they dry quickly. So it doesn't actually give a whole lot of time to manipulate. Um, I remember trying to use this in a video thinking I was gonna have time to smoke it out and it was like, it was work. I also picked up this shade by, well, the shade, it's black. It's the shade Graphite by Makeup Forever. It's their Aqua Resist Color Pencil and it's just a true rich black. It is so soft and creamy. You put, you barely put any pressure and it's just boom, black. I got this for my waterline because I like a good black in my waterline and I need it to be really intense pigment. That way I don't have to like go over and over and over several times and irritate the eye. Nobody wants to do that. I also picked up two new lip pencils from Inglot. These are both lip liners and I will swatch them for you so you can see. This is the shade 318. It is kind of a light, like rosy pink, real pretty, cool tone. And then I also picked up the shade 319, which is very similar. <laughs> Go figure. Very similar, a little bit deeper, but still that like, you know, rosy kind of nude pink, great everyday color. I have a question for you guys. Let me know below. Do you tend to lean towards the exact same lip color or are you someone that wears every color? You know, d does your lipstick collection look like everything from red to nudes to corals or do you have like 50 of the exact same shades? Because that is me. I also picked up this gloss from Lawless. It's called Forget the Filler. And I picked this up um, at Sephora here in town. And I really like this gloss. I'll put a little bit on right now because I don't have any gloss. It is a lip plumper. And you do feel a little bit of that tingling sensation, but it's very comfortable. It smells incredible. It's super glossy. Um, I love the wand on this. It has a slight little curve, so it hugs the lips really nicely. 
super shiny. I really like it. One of my more favorite purchases. I also picked up this cream blush from Kaja and I'm not really loving this and it's more so the color than the actual product. It's the shade 01 Aura. I have it on my cheeks today. It's a little too light for me. I don't get much color. If anything, I just get a lot more of that gold shimmer tone to it. Even if I build it and build it, I'm not getting more color. I'm just getting gold shimmer. So I wish I had picked up a shade slightly darker than this but the formula is nice it's a cream product but it does kind of dry down quickly I also picked up this brow pencil from Charlotte Tilbury it is the uh, brow lift and I got the shade medium brown and it has a little spoolie on the side and then here it has the actual pencil and when I purchased this I was thinking it was going to be more of a micro fine tip but it's one of the thicker kind of triangular heads. I really like this. It's a great product. It defines the brows. It kind of fills them in. It's a good kind of mix between a brow pencil and a brow shadow. It gives you that same kind of look. So I have been enjoying this and I also got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk uh, little quad palette and I love this. It's just a simple kind of basic everyday palette but it's so beautiful and so flattering on the eyes for a nice, soft, pinky, rosy, neutral look. I also picked up two little kind of minis. I picked up the uh, Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with salicylic acid. And I picked this up um, at the re recommendation of, was it Angie or Amanda? We were at Sephora shopping a couple weeks ago and I was complaining about these little white dots that I have underneath my eye. I have been told, you know, viewers have told me, oh, that's milia. My dermatologist said it's not milia, but everyone tells me to use an exfoliant under the eye. And if I think about it, I really avoid that area with exfoliants because I have sensitive eyes and you know everything seeps into your skin and I notice when I use product around the eye the next morning my eyes are really red but I'm going to give this a try I haven't yet used this and just kind of applying it right there over those little uh, bumps because um, my assumption is that they are clogged pores and I need to kind of exfoliate and get all that junk out so that's why I got this and then I also got a makeup forever uh, sensitive eyes waterproof makeup remover um, this is good stuff you guys I used some of this I'll actually use it on my hand now because I have all of this on my hand to take off. I mean, it just removed makeup so easily. When I was at Sephora swatching everything, I was actually shopping for a black waterproof eyeliner. So I had all this black eyeliner on my hand and I used this and it just like took it away. So, I mean, look at this. That is crazy. It just took that right off. I need to take that downstairs so I don't forget to use it. Um, I bought the mini one, but I'm probably gonna end up buying the large one. I mean, look at that, so easily, so quick and easy. Uh, and then I also, the last products that I uh, have to share with you guys are from Inglot. They are their gel eyeliners. And I got one in the shade 64, which is this beautiful, let's take a little brush. It's this beautiful purpley kind of eggplant color. It's so pretty. This is what it looks like. These are really nice. They're not a real thick gel liner. They're actually pretty thin. Once they dry, they stay in place though. So I got that one and then I got this other shade. It is 96 and this is kind of like a pretty neutral taupey shade. Let me show you. I thought it would be really pretty as an eyeshadow too. Look at that. So gorgeous. As an eyeshadow or kind of to smoke that on the lower lash line. I probably wouldn't use that on my upper lash line. It's not dark enough, but I thought it'd be really beautiful on the lower lash line. And that wraps up this haul video. If there are any particular products that I shared in today's haul that you guys really wanna see reviews on, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, I know I've talked about some of these already, um, like the Merit Foundation, I'll link that video down below. But if there's anything that I shared that you're really, really curious about, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.